So I changed my exclusive account with Audio Jungle to a non-exclusive account. Now the reason why is because I have so many songs on my exclusive account and I've been with Audio Jungle for four years now, okay? And it's been wonderful to have an exclusive account. But I also happen to have a second account with them, which is a non-exclusive account, which I open actually much later on. And I have experimented over the years uh, with that non-exclusive account and I realized that actually tracks and uh, music tracks that I have on my non-exclusive account in Audio Jungle. Sometimes they might not be performing very well there, but they do perform uh, outside of uh, Audio Jungle very well. So, throughout the years, I have been composing for two different accounts, and it's very hard sometimes to choose which one is gonna go to which, you know? And because I've been having a lot of success outside of uh, Audio Jungle, uh, it made me realize that having 500 uh, plus uh, music tracks and all the jungle exclusive it could be some some kind of a liability to me really as a composer because yes I do get more uh, per sale because I have an exclusive account because if you have an exclusive account you will get a little bit more based on uh, on your sales as well so I have reached a level where I actually have uh, some sales, you know, and like I said, I've been with Audio Jungle for more than, yeah, for four years now, but really earning a living, like I will say like two and a half, maybe three years. Uh, like I have mentioned in many, many of my other videos, my biggest mistake when I started doing stock music was not going non-exclusive. I started with my Audio Jungle account, the main one, uh, and I was just relying on that account for my income, and that was very risky, you know? So after a year or so, I opened another account in, uh, with other libraries, with Pond5, Lockstock, Production Tracks. Anyways, in the description, I have a list of all the actual uh, libraries that I'm involved, or at least the libraries that actually produce me uh, income. And uh, because I have tested the market now, I realized that some music sells very well outside of Audio Jungle, and some other musics don't sell at all outside of Audio Jungle, and they do sell in Audio Jungle. So, you know, in my experience now, uh, I had to take a choice and I had to take a decision, really. You know, uh, there's always changes that apply in uh, music libraries. They always change things, you know. I have uh, had my first changes of uh, policies or, or whatnot in, in Envato, and, uh, and I have gone with it. I mean, Audio Jungle to me is like a, like a second home because like I said to you, it's one of uh, the important libraries that I'm involved with. I just think that they're a great uh, website to be involved if you want to sell your music. There's a lot of customers there. There's a lot of traffic. So, you know, I always uh, suggest people that, you know, do what works best for you, okay? So now that the new policies or the, the self-pricing uh, uh, thing is going on in Audio Jungle, for me it was the right time to actually turn my exclusive account to a non-exclusive account and uh, take those 500 plus music tracks that I have in Audio Jungle, take them outside. That's the main goal. It takes a whole month to, to for your account to actually change. So uh, I did that. It is That's been in the making for some time. You know, I had a difficult uh, August, like I said. That was one of the accounts that I actually was suffering. And uh, I have revamped it as well. I have uh, repriced every item. I'm still working on some new thumbnails and uh, uh, avatars and whatnot and try to revamp a little bit my, my profile on Audio Jungle. But as well, I changed uh, from my exclusivity. So it's not a non-exclusive account now. And, uh, you know, I'm really excited, you know, because I can see music tracks that have been buried in the Audio Jungle uh, portfolio, uh, exclusive portfolio. And I said, this is an amazing track. It's a, it's, a, it's a shame that I cannot take that track out to, let's say, Pawn 5 or Melody Loops and just sell it. At the end of the day, it's my music. Uh, it should have a second chance in other markets for sure, you know, and... Uh, and that's the goal. And you know, to be honest, I feel uh, excited. I feel there's a new chapter. I think that is, uh, I feel like it's a, a new beginning. Because like I said, all these libraries, they always have changed, you know? They always, there's always something new that changed. And I said, well, actually this time around, I'm gonna go with the changes, you know? Okay, so the latest change that they did, like, uh, like as you know, is that you can price your own items. So I said, but not only, that's not enough. For me, I need to change everything. I need to change my exclusivity with uh, my account. I need to change the avatars and the thumbnails, uh, the prices, and uh, change how I approach my, my business, really, and realize that music that I have already composed 
Uh, when you have 500 tracks and you start taking them out to put them in other libraries, that's a quite, quite a lot, you know? And uh, I have to be smart in terms of how I approach it. And now, not only that, but now that I'm gonna make music, new music, it's just gonna be all non-exclusive. So you can say that I am 100% non-exclusive now. And it's such a relief, you know? Because uh, I could just focus on making one track and that same track, it just goes all over the place, you know? I plant that seed and, you know, I know that it's not gonna be doing very well in one account, but then the other one, it will for sure uh, do well. I have experimented with this for some time now. And uh, when your income depends on this, you need to do what's uh, best for you, you know? And uh, it's just something that it's been in the making. I actually came with this idea or came with this decision over the summer thinking about what can I do differently apart from making better music and uh, and whatnot. And uh, a, a person that I met over my YouTube channel here, he actually, he's, he's on both. He's on, on Audio Jungle and Pond 5. And uh, I contacted him many months ago and he, he did this. And he said, I actually turned my exclusive account to non-exclusive and whack all those tracks somewhere else. And he's a very successful uh, composer on Pond 5. And uh, he said, you're gonna end up doing the same thing. And he, uh, last, last time I spoke to him, when we were talking about it, he said, mark my words. If you're watching this, uh, you were right and I was wrong. Uh, because back then I was saying that I, I didn't need to do that, but actually I, I couldn't see it, man. You know, I just was blind by my own stupidity, I guess. And uh, like I said, I, 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 have a, I have success in Audio Jungle, but there is no reason why I should stop there, you know? There's no reason for me to be exclusive anymore, and I love it, you know? And I love the, I love Audio Jungle, and I love the way they do, the way they have their, their, their site and their libraries and all the changes, and you know? But this time, it's, 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 it's my time to change and, and embrace that. And, you know, the support the people and uh, all of these uh, guys that work in, in Envato, when, when you approach them and you wanna do any changes or anything, they're really helpful. And uh, any questions you might have, you know, for me, I was like concerned about how much am I gonna be earning now that I'm gonna be non-exclusive, but I change and I accommodate as well my prices according to that, based on my, uh, my actual uh, sales. Uh, I don't really lose much either, so it depends. It depends as well what's your situation and what, where, where are you at in, in your actual journey. So if you ask me today, if you're starting off, my, my advice will be do what works best for you. But for me, in, in my case, uh, I should have done this from the beginning, for sure. I should have gone non-exclusive from day one. Uh, you know, it's my journey, man. You know, I'm trying to share it here and I will let you guys know how it goes. And uh, it's an exciting thing to have all that music track, even if I don't take all the 500 tracks because I want to curate them as well and maybe alter them a little bit. Uh, do some edits as well. I've been doing a lot of edits uh, and selling them. So, you know, uh, it's a lot of music to work with and try to say, select all of these tracks and whack them in different libraries. So. So yeah, man, that's that's what I've been up to now uh, these days, and uh, I'm very excited. So so yeah, man, full non-exclusivity for me. So yeah, man, hope you guys are doing well. Thanks for all the love and support, for all the comments, all the messages, and for following me. And uh, I'm gonna try to be more active and uh, share more with you about my uh, journey into the stock world, stock music world. Rock and roll, guys, and uh, see you on the other side of success.